welcome to my new video so today i'm gonna show you guys how i fill my nails that i did last time or like two videos ago and these have been on for like almost a month now and yeah you probably saw the um thumbnail so that's what i'm gonna transform my nails into i'm gonna do like a french and then i'm gonna put some flowers in there as well i actually got inspired from another girl on youtube and i saw she did like a french and then she put like little butterflies in there but i didn't have butterflies so i just used those flowers and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see me transform my nails just keep on watching so the first step to filling up your acrylic nails is to just drill down your nails or the gel polish and the acrylic that you put on last time i try to take off as much acrylic as i can just not too much so it doesn't get too thin and it starts breaking on me but um for this i'm using a coarse drill bit a safety bit because um, i don't want to damage my nails around the cuticle area when i'm going around there as you can see and on just on top of the nail i'm using a higher speed so it saves me time and then when i go around the cuticle area i lower the speed just to prevent um, my nails from starting to burn from the friction and if you have some lifting in your nails you really want to try and um, drill that lifting away and just go gently around that area and you'll see lifting is basically the lighter parts around the cuticle area so just lower your speed on the drill and keep um, filing over it just don't stay on one spot for too long so it doesn't start burning but um, you can see the movements that I'm doing and just that's just so you can take off some of that lifting I just have some minor lifting and that's what I'm trying to take away after that I push up my cuticles with a cuticle pusher and just to prevent lifting for the next set. Then I go in with my sanding band, just a 150 sanding band and I um, take away that shine from the natural nail that grew out and also take away some more of that lifting. Remember when you're filing the natural nail, you want to really file gentle and on a low speed. You can also use a um, hand file if you feel more comfortable using that. Um, just remember you just want to take off that natu um, natural shine from the nail. And not any, like you don't want to make the nail thinner or anything like that. After that, I dehydrate the natural nail with some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and then I go in with some um, primer. I use a Valentino primer and I layer this one twice on top of my natural nail as well. After that I start using my acrylic. I'm using a cover pink by Cakes Ink Nails. I'm gonna um, link all of my products that I'm using in this video down in the description. The brush that I'm using is a size 12 Kolinsky brush I think. I start by placing the acrylic 
ball um, on top where the cuticle area is and you can see how I place it then I push up the acrylic as much as I can into that cuticle area but not too much so I don't flush the cuticle the bead is like medium wet a little bit wet so it can run down into that shape that I need for the French and you just want to work with gravity when you're doing this um, French design so don't work harder but just smarter um, you just point down your finger so the acrylic can run down a little bit and then I try and make that um, like oval shape with my brush and this doesn't have to be all the way perfect because after we um, place all of that acrylic we're gonna shape the um, like U or oval shape whatever you want to call it and maybe you're thinking this is so hard to do the French if you never did it before but trust me it's actually not that hard because when I did my first French I um, went on YouTube as well and I searched a tutorial and they explained it so hard I was like Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? I was like, this is gonna be hard. But when I tried it, it wasn't actually that hard. Especially if you already know how to kind of manage your acrylic. It's not gonna be hard at all. And if you really think it's so hard, you can like order one of these special tools. Then you just put on the acrylic on the full nail and you cut the shape with like a special tool maybe you know what i mean maybe you also noticed how i um place my acrylic pretty thick um that's just so i can file the smile line easier later on and then i can put my white around it or whatever color you want to put that makes it easier Then I just wait for that acrylic to dry all the way because if it's not dry it's gonna make it harder for you to file and then it can destroy that shape that you just created and I just take a hand file and file around that smile line that I just created just to make it really sharp for later on
after I filed all of the smile lines, I start placing the white acrylic um, on the tips and I don't really have a technique for that. As you can see, I just randomly place the acrylic until um, I don't see any more open spaces. And if the white comes on the pink acrylic, you don't have to worry about that because we're gonna file that off later. And also if it's not like um, smooth or anything like that, we're gonna cap everything clear. said now we're filing away that white that um, just came all over the pink because um, we're gonna put some flowers where the white is supposed to be and if you're not gonna put flowers or anything if you're just doing a normal French you could already cap and clear right now and then file as you would normally but since we're putting flowers we're gonna file away the white right now And here, as you can see, I was debating between which flowers I was gonna choose. I had those cute, like, plastic flowers, but they were kind of too big. And then the other flowers that you can see underneath, they were also too big. And then I had different types of flowers that had, like, those tiny, tiny little flowers in one circle like that. And I decided to just rip those apart and then use those 
and as you can see I'm just putting some um, glue on a plastic thingy and dipping the flowers in there and then gluing them onto my nails um, you can also just put some glue on top of your nails and then put the flowers on I was actually struggling a lot to put those on as you can see but yeah just find your preferred way to glue the flowers on And then I actually skipped how I put on um, the index and my thumb because it was taking too long. And But this is how they came out, super cute. Right here you see me just capping all of the nails with some clear acrylic to really place those flowers where they're supposed to be. And so they don't come off when we file the nails later on. Answer on the beat For the filing, I'm not gonna explain too much in this video because I already made a video dedicated to how I shape and file my nails. So go check that out if you haven't already. And the only thing I'm doing different is I'm really going underneath of my nails and filing away the glitter that you can still see from the previous set. But um, if the color that you had before of your fill or glitter or whatever doesn't bother you, you don't have to do that. That's just what I like. And maybe some of your clients also prefer not to see the old color underneath of their nails. But yeah, that's just preference.
after um, filing away the glitter underneath of my nails, I went in with my hand file again just to correct some stuff that I didn't like yet. And of course, I also buffed my nails to get them ready for the top coat. And uh, after I just put on some top coat. And then to finish off, I use some cuticle oil to hydrate my cuticles. And this is the finished result. I'm really in love with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.